Hi students, this is lesson 27, session 1. We are on page 557, so go ahead and turn your math book to that page. And then you're also going to want to get your um, dry erase paper that has uh, your information about decimals on it. It should look like this, and it will have um, these two boxes and then also this and be laminated so you can write on it with a dry erase marker. So the first thing we're going to talk about before we even get started on this lesson is now that we are um, learning about decimals, um, you always need to make sure that you pay attention to the fact that when you have the decimal point, which is behind the ones place, so if we were looking at a place value chart, we would have ones, and then over here would be tens, hundreds, thousands, and so on. But when we go back behind the decimal, that's a fraction of one whole. So it's part of one whole. It's not completely one whole. So decimals and fractions are very similar. So you have your decimal point here. They do not have a ones column. It's tenths. And notice how they put the THS on the back of ten. So it's tenths. And then they have hundredths, and it has a THS on the back of it, too. That's how when you're reading fractions and decimals, you know that it's a fraction and that it's not tens and hundreds over here. So let's go ahead and get started with this first problem here. It says, Kelly and Casey each buy equal size bottles of water. They each drink some of their water. Kelly now has 0.5 of his bottle left. Casey has 0.4 of her bottle left. Who has more water left? So 0.5 is another way of saying 5 tenths, and 0.4 is a way of saying 4 tenths. So we need to know that Kelly drank 5 tenths and Casey drank 4 tenths, and we need to know who has more water left. So I, you have um, your fraction model up there, but I'm going to actually, I cut out a couple of pieces so I could show you, and I'm going to use these. So on here, first we're going to do Casey, I'm sorry, first we're going to do Kelly, and Kelly drank five tenths, so this is one whole and it's divided up into ten, and I'm going to shade in five of them, one, two, three, four, five. And that's the amount that he drank. Now for Casey, we also have one whole divided up into tenths because our number is in the tenths place. Casey drank four tenths, so I'm going to shade four. One, two, three, four. So that's how much she drank. And it asked, who has more water left? Well, if you compare these right next to each other, we can see that Kelly drank more water, so that means Casey has more water left because the white is what is left. So our answer would be Kelly drank more water. So, Casey has more water left. Another way that you can think of these is like they're fractions. So, just like we were looking at these. So, Kelly drank five tenths, and Casey drank four tenths. Well, that means five tenths is greater than four tenths, so that means Kelly ha or Casey has more left. So this is the amount that was drank. This would be the amount that is left. So if Kelly drank five tenths, that means he has five tenths left. If Casey drank four tenths, that means she has six tenths left. So that means that Casey has more left. You can also compare these by using a place value chart. So if you're using the place value chart, obviously we do not have a whole number, so we would have a zero here, and then our decimal, and it says Kelly drank 
five tenths. Casey drank four tenths. So that means that this, because these you cannot compare here, this is the same, so five is bigger, so that means he drank more. And so that means Casey drank less. Or you can compare it with how much is left. Obviously, Kelly still has five left. But Casey has six tenths left. So Casey has more water left. So I just showed you three different ways that you can solve this problem. You can solve it using a model. You can solve it using numbers and fractions. Or you can solve it using a place value chart with um, decimals. Any of those ways is acceptable. Um, you're going to get the same answer no matter which way you choose to use. Let's move on to page 556. All right, here on 556, um, it's just going over the things that we just went over with um, that same one. So the top part you don't need to do, but we do want to take a look down here at our reflect. It says, suppose the water bottles were different sizes. Could you compare the bottles? That is 0.84 or 8 tenths full, and the bottle that is 9 tenths full in the same way. As in problem two, explain. So if these are our two problems, and one of them has 8 tenths and one of them has 9 tenths, but they're different shapes, can we compare them? The answer is no. This is just like with fractions. You have to have the same whole. You must have the same sized whole to compare. Okay. Right, now we're going to go over to page 559, and we're going to take a look at our vocabulary here for today, and our word is compare decimals. So I'm going to start up here. An example of um, comparing decimals is to tell whether one decimal is greater than less than or equal to another decimal. So just like when we compare numbers, we're using that um, greater than, less than, and equal sign to compare which one is bigger. Another way that you can um, compare decimals is by using a place value chart. Always make sure you have your decimal. So we'll say 0 0.3, 0 0.6. So we can see here that 0.3 is less than 0.6. So when you're comparing decimals, just like whenever you're comparing with numbers, you've got to take a look at the columns. And since these are both 0, you have to look at the tenths place there. Okay, another example, if we just use numbers, say we use 0, 8 tenths is greater than 7 tenths, or 8 tenths is smaller than, whoops, <laughs> I messed up, 9 tenths, you can um, compare them to a fraction. 3 tenths is the same thing as 3 tenths like this, or 4 tenths is the same thing as 4 tenths. So 3 tenths is less than 4 tenths. So 3 tenths is less than 
four tenths. You can draw models. Let's say four tenths and seven tenths. And you can see that seven tenths is greater than four tenths. Or you can have models like this. And let's do seven tenths and five tenths when we can see that five tenths is greater than seven tenths. So these are all the different ways that you can use to compare decimals and any of them are right you just have to choose the way that works best for you. All right let's take a look down here at number two. Compare the decimals four tenths and five tenths. Write both decimals in the place value chart then write greater than less than or equal to to compare. So four tenths, so we write zero because there's no ones, four tenths, and then five tenths. We know that we cannot compare here. Five is bigger than four, so five is bigger than four. That means five tenths is bigger than four tenths. Let's take a look at page 560. Raphael and Zena each buy equal size granola bars. They each eat some of their granola bar. Raphael now has six tenths of his granola bar left. Zena has seven tenths of her granola bar left. Who has more granola bar left? This is just like our problem that we did our very first one right here. So you can use any of the three ways that you would like to um, to solve this one. I um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys using the models again, just so that way you can see it one more time. So we'll say this one's Raphael, and this one is Zena. Okay, and so here we say Raphael eight now has six tenths of his left. So we're going to highlight six tenths because that's what he has left. Notice it switched it. Last time it was how much they ate. This time it's how much left. One, two, three, four, five, six, and this is what is left. Okay. Zena has seven tenths of her granola bar left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. This is how much is left. Okay. So then our question is, who has more of their granola bar left? Last time we needed to look at what was left in the white to compare. This time we're looking at what's left in the blue to compare. So Raphael, we can see here, eight, 0 0.6, and Zena has 0 0.6 left. This is how much they have left. Well, if we look here and if we put these right on top of each other, we can see that Zena has more left by one bar than Raphael did. So that means that Zena has more left. And you can compare those by saying 0 0.6 is less than because the alligator always eats the bigger number, 0 0.7 or 6 tenths and 7 tenths. You can also make those into fractions. So down here at the bottom, we can make those into a fraction. Six tenths compared to seven tenths. Well, if we make them into fractions, we can see that seven tenths is greater than six tenths. That is it for lesson one. I will see you back for lesson two.